Hello everyone, my name is JJ Tao and welcome to Julius Let's Play. Let's first turn this truck off. Now, today I'm going to be talking about something that has been... I've seen on the Reddit forums, I've seen on different websites, and I've seen on YouTube as well, where there's this glitch where the trailers for the trucks don't actually work in single player. So, if you're playing solo campaign and you put your truck onto a trailer and swap to your, your primary truck that you want to drive away now, Watch what happens to the truck that's on the back of the trailer. Boop! We have this happen. This... <laughs> uh, my other truck has fallen through the back. Uh, now we have a problem. So, the question is, how do you bypass this glitch? And I'm happy to say, there is actually a way to do this. What you need to do, first of all, is, if you're driving a truck with a trailer, like I'm doing right here, if you're using the actual saddle trailer, in other words, a trailer that hooks onto your high or low saddle, you can simply use the winch that, or sorry, the winches that are available on the truck. However, if you're using a trailer, and you'll see I have one right at the back of the screen there, that's a bit bent because it took a tumble, you will need a crane to do this because you need that extra reach. This crane over here, you need that extra reach of that of that wedge okay but i'm going to show you what to do and it'll apply for both but just just know for simple sake so i don't make this a very long video that you just need to use your wedge and i'm going to show you how so let's first of all restore that crane so first of all let's pull the ramp up and let's get into position now what you need to understand about the wedge is that when you're towing one of your own trucks or one of the trucks out in the map that you need to unlock you actually turn on its engine when you attach the winch. That's one of the features of the game. Now this is very important to know because it's going to play a big part in how this actually works. Okay, I'm just trying to get into position so I'm slightly aligned to the truck. Uh, okay, so we're just going to stay right there. You might want a bit of a gap uh, because I'm going to try and show you what happens if you are driving a truck and you basically haven't unlocked it yet, you just needed to go inside. So you see how the wheels have automatically turned of the other truck, the Chevrolet. So the Chevrolet's wheels have turned towards me. If I put on my handbrake and I hit the accelerator, the truck will move forward. It will drive without me initiating anything. So it'll drive very, very slowly. And if I reverse, it'll do the exact same thing. So the handbrake is a feature that you need to understand is very important in this exercise. So I'm going to activate the ramp. And I'm going to drive my truck. Oh, I need to close function. I'm going to drive my truck up to a point where it's just near the ramp. Now, the second part to that is just to adjust the winch. You always need to know that you need to crisscross your winches. So if you're going to attach, take for example, this winch on the left hand side sorry well it's my left on my left hand side facing the back you need to attach it to the right hand side of the truck because when you pull it in it will pull in that direction now i've gone and made this a little bit too long so now what i'm going to do is attach the winch again i'm just showing you the different dynamics of the winch i've attached it now i'm reversing the truck you see how that actually manipulates where the truck is driving. Okay, so now you want to put your own truck on there. Knowing how the winch works, let's do this. We're just going to simply... Re okay, okay, it's gone straight through, but we're simply going to reverse the truck. And draw... Oh, okay, sorry, we're going too fast. All right. Why can't I do that? I need a bit of a, a little more of a runway. <laughs> okay, so let's just... Oh, I'm just going to fast forward so we get to the part where we nicely set up on the truck. Okay, so I'm just showing you how to get your own truck onto the trailer for this to work. The processes I just showed you, whereas you can drag a truck onto the trailer, it takes a little bit longer and it takes a bit of practice. I'm not going to do that now because this video will be too long. But it is possible to do with, a with enough maneuvering. So this video is specifically for 
your own truck to be put on the back of a primary truck. So I'm going to drive up a little. I'm just going to match it up. So now I'm aligned. I'm aligned. Ooh. You can see them aligned. I'm going to hit the brakes. Let's swap the truck. And now we're going to do the winch. And remember what I told you. If you're aligning to the right hand side, you're going to winch to the left hand side. If you're using the left hand winch, you're going to use the right hand winch. Now my truck isn't exactly straight. So I'm going to just move a little bit forward because I'm OCD. Okay, there we go. That's all I need. That's all I need. We're going to chat your winch. It's still too far away, so it's fine. We'll use the back winch. Okay, and we're going to move him up just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So you see how it is? Now, oh, hit the brakes. I forgot to hit the brakes. Now we just use the winch. Oh, the back of the truck's winch. Here. And now you see I'm going from... From... Well, I'm looking from the back. I'm using from left to right. And I'm going to winch it. Now, when the truck's on top, remember what I told you. Hit the handbrake and hit the accelerator. Your truck, the truck on top will drive up. And there we go. It's driven up on top. Now all I need to do is restore the ramp, or oh, sorry, oh, that's not what I meant to do, is I need to activate the ramp. Now what you need to understand about this is that if you activate or attach the winch to the truck, the truck will try and drive with you. Okay, so unfortunately what they don't have here is a packed cargo. It would be nice, oh, you see there we go, I forgot to disattach the winch. So now you can see I can drive. And you're meant to drive slow. This whole thing about the... I know there's a glitch where the truck basically catapults off the ramp. But if it falls off, well, that's that's going to happen normally when you drive a truck. Unless you tie it down. And unfortunately, they don't have this option yet. So you have to somewhat drive slow. You've got an abnormal load. So you have to treat it like an abnormal load. Drive in lower gear. And the truck won't roll off. Now, here comes the crux of the matter. How do you get the truck off the ramp? Because then that glitch will still happen. You cannot get into your truck until it is off the ramp. Otherwise, it will glitch through. If you're happy to glitch through and drive away, by all means do that. Uh, you know, uh, kill the immersion. Why not? So what you do is you attach the back winch over here to the back of the truck. And as mentioned, hit your handbrake and reverse. There it goes, it's starting to roll. It's rolling, it's rolling. And now we disengage the winch. And now we can do the same with the bottom winch. There's a winch right at the bottom there. Attach and pull. Oh, come on. It's going the wrong way, it's going the wrong way.
Alright, so... Alright folks, so now I've stopped my truck. I'm going to just turn off the engine. I've now stopped my truck. And now the next phase to this is to get the truck off your truck. Well, <laughs> I say that... Okay, let me just refer to cargo. You need to get your cargo off the truck. And you could just glitch it. You could switch trucks, fall down and reverse out. If you want to kill the immersion, by all that's mean. But this is how you, you do it if you want it done properly. Now, following the same rules that I've applied before, where the wench controls how your truck or the, uh, the vehicle you're attached to actually operates. It actually turns on the engine, switches it off. We're going to use this to our advantage to get the truck off. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is going to activate the ramp. This is going to actually help a lot because the ramp is going to stop your own truck from reversing to a point where um, you're going backwards. I, I don't know how to make it more clear than that. So the first thing we're going to do is again, we're going to attach the winch. We're not going to detach anything. Where is my winch? Oh, we need to turn on the truck. Okay, right. We're going to attach the winch. To the... Again, we're alternating. And again, if I reverse my truck, you see how the truck's trying to reverse. Okay, so that's going to play a part. And maybe I shouldn't have done it because now he's gone a bit too far out. So we're going to attach this winch on the right hand side. Oh, sorry, on my left. So it's my left again. To, oh, we need to first deactivate the other winch. Alright. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach the back winch. Let's go to trailer view, so this might make life actually a little bit easier. Yeah, there we go. So we are attaching the back of the trailer to the back of the truck. And you see how it is reversing out. Now, it's actually going to fall out just now, so that's not going to really help me. So now we just need to attach the last part of this equation. And we're going to attach it. There we go. Ah, thank you. I got that back on the spin. And just let's attach this one over here. Okay, this one's closer. Du -du -du. Reverse out, reverse, reverse. And then just let them fall out. Come on, further. At last part, almost there. We're almost there. That's not what I want! Okay. Okay, so just very quickly, my game actually just froze. Um, so I'm going to bring the truck back onto the trailer so we can go through this again. I'm going to 
put on the handbrake and hit the accelerator of my primary truck so that the truck that I'm trailing is going to drive up automatically. Okay, folks, uh, welcome back. So my game glitched a bit, so it kind of fell off. Uh... Hello, folks. Okay, so in the middle of the recording, my game actually froze, but when I came back to the state, the truck was now back on the outside. Uh, so it didn't save its process of me towing the truck. So I'm going to just bring it back on. Oh, I forgot to put my handbrake on. There she comes. Do you need help? Uh oh.
Alright folks, so we have stopped our truck now and our other truck is still at the back um, of the cargo. It's still on and active. So if we had to attach a winch to it, the problem here would be is that the truck would immediately uh, move forward with my truck. So that whole notion of using a winch to keep the truck tied down is actually not the best idea. Specifically because of the truck's motion in relation to what we've just spoken about. Where your winch dictates where the truck actually goes. It actually drives it for you. Um, so what we're going to have to do in order to get the truck out. Now you could just glitch it and switch to the truck and let it drop. And drive back. If you want to kill the immersion of the game, that's the best thing to do. I guess the real immersion of the game would be the fact that this actually worked. But what we need to do is we need to attach the winch to the truck. And in this specific way, um, it doesn't matter which one you use. Because all you're doing is, you need your parking brake on, the ramp is down. What's good is that the ramp actually acts as a means to hold the truck into place. Your primary truck. Your truck won't really reverse backwards. But you just hit the reverse key, and now look how your truck moves backwards. I was doing that so slowly. And then we just release the winch. And we do the same now for this spot over here uh, okay it's not gonna go that far I'm gonna try <laughs> whoops so you see how it really wants to we're just gonna move a little bit forward we're almost there sort of did a, a foobar there uh, no Uh, I'm attaching trees for some reason. Sorry, folks. This is where this guy comes into play.
Okay, folks, so this is going to be the last part of the video. Now, I'm just going to quickly just skip through the time so we can see this properly. Let's go back to in the afternoon. Okay, so you can keep the... Uh, now, if you... Sorry, you can't actually. I was going to say, you can keep the winch attached to the truck while you're driving. The problem is, as mentioned, the winch activates your truck's engine and it will try and drive off the ramp. And it will try to drive backwards. That's why that glitch exists. If you winch your truck and you try to drive with it on a ramp, it tends to shoot out into the atmosphere. So you can't actually do that. Um, just as I explained before, you're going to be driving this like an abnormal load anyway. So you need to drive slowly and you need to be careful. So now here's where the crane is going to come into play. We're going to drive this truck out of the ramp. But keep in mind, we can't switch to the truck or you'll glitch. You can do that if you want a quick exit and you just want to drive the truck off. Then you don't need to worry about that. Kill the immersion of the game. Do what's best for you. This is if you want to keep uh, the immersion of the game and want to actually drive the truck out. So we're going to activate the ramp. Uh, what? I keep saying remove cargo. Uh, activate ramp. Okay. Put on your handbrake. And then attach the winch. And you can attach the front one to the, to the front of the truck. And you can see what again happens. If you reverse your, your, your truck and it's got the handbrake on and the ramp is down, your truck won't move, but the back one will. So now the problem is, is that the winch doesn't have enough slack to pull this off. I could use a back winch to pull the truck forward. Uh, let's go back to the ramp over here so we can actually take a look. So we're going to go on this side and just slowly drag it out. And if I reverse, you see how the truck goes there? But this is another way to do it. If you have a crane, all you need to do is go into crane mode. Activate the, the anchors. Attach to the front of the truck. But now what you're going to do is you're going to press Y. Or whatever it is on the PS button to give as much slack as possible. So you see, look at all that cord. Yeehaw! And then you're going to bring down the the crane so that you have that extra slack now with this still attached if you cancel everything in other words press the b button i think a circle on the on the playstation you will now be in control of your primary truck so i'm in camera view of the ramp but i'm in control of my primary truck so if you see there it says close function i forgot to close one more function if i hit the reverse gear there goes my truck it's gonna go out it's gonna go out it's gonna go out release the winch and i can still if i really want to ah come on i'm trying to select the wedge point now i can attach the front of the truck and carry on reversing him out and just doop, drop it and there it is trucks the truck is now uh the, the truck is now free to do what it's want similarly is similar to that you can actually use the the and there we go if you really want to be technical you can try use the winch to uh attach the truck but you can quite see that it's still quite far away from it you'll need to do that once the truck's a little bit inside but you've seen the process of actually doing this now i can simply restore my crane activate my ramp and now if i switch to my truck there won't be any issues she's all alive again and without fuel so <laughs> so i guess there's that but there we go there's the video folks this is how you can simply tow your vehicles without actually suffering that horrible glitch of driving around in the truck we hope you enjoyed this playthrough as always i've got people to do and things to see uh stay tuned i will be doing a little bit more tips because it seems uh what people like watching from snowrunner videos in general and i will catch you next time because i have a bunch load bye bye